But what does YouTube and camping really mean to you? Uh, yeah, I've always loved my camping uh, from when I was a kid. And uh, the, U the YouTube part of it for me is somewhere, it's storage space. It's, uh, you know, somewhere where, you know, I can put me, put, you know, put my little camps on. Uh, where I don't have to be controlling through memory cards, I can just flick on YouTube and uh, it's like a diary. Uh, on some of the videos I can, you know, see where I was working at the time, uh, what were I was getting up to, where I was camping. Uh, I'll, I'll much be grandkids uh, growing up when, uh, when I've took them. And uh, it's been good, it, you know what I mean, there's a lot of positive things about it. Uh, I've met individual people, uh, we've been out on, on different camps, uh, you know, people that you'd never meet in life, completely different people to yourself. Uh, shared a campfire with them and, uh, and, had some, and had some good camps, you know what I mean, and visited some good places as, uh, well, as a rat pack uh, sort of comes to mind, you know what I mean, uh, so good, some good lads. Uh, the, the, the other thing, the negative thing is, that I'm finding out just lately, is the trolls. I have been hounded by trolls just lately, yeah. Now I know, I know what you're going to say and I never even thought that I'd be making a video like this. I know what you're going to say, just block them and, uh, and delete them. Well that's what I have started to do, but they're relentless. Uh, the, these trolls that I am having, they don't go on the current videos, they'll go like five or six videos back. And, uh, and at first I found them, you know, quite a bit entertaining, you know, I'd like, you know, coerce with them and like a bit of banter and that, but now they're getting really, really, like, personal and, and deep. And, uh, well, a couple of months ago, one, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to go into the one a couple of months ago, but just recently, it's, uh, it's getting mad to a, to a point where it's, it's like an obsession with them. Uh, I'm not talking bollocks neither. Uh, where it's come to a point where I have like been deleting the the comments, what they're coming back all the time, and what they've done now is uh, they're making up false Frog Moon channels. It's uh, quite it's quite mad, really. Uh, a couple of lads have been informed me of a set up a new channel, Frog. But even got my face in the in the thumbnail. It's it's quite it's quite mad. You know what I mean? Uh, while that's been happening, uh, my lad, my lad sort of saw my computers out. I'm absolutely crap at, c at computers and, you know, and, well, it's a laptop I've got. Well, he put some security on for me, you know, I don't have to pay for the security. He had a look and he's saying, Dad, look, uh, your, uh, your YouTube channel, the Frog Moon one, is, is like trying to be acted into. Not just once or twice, but quite, quite frequently. So it's obviously somebody that's really got a personal uh, grudge against me. Uh, that, that, I'm, that I'm taking, you know what I mean? I mean, I look at it, I look at it this way. Over the four years I've had this channel, I, uh, I've, I've like accumulated 1,400 subs, and I get on average about 300 views a video. So this channel is in no major competition, you know, with anybody else on on YouTube. It's just some like some. Some somebody's just like got it, like trying to destroy this channel, and uh, well, I don't like me. But anyway, uh, I never thought I'd say, you know, be saying that because I mean, I, I love me, I love me camping, uh, and it's come to a point where you know, Kaz is saying, Steve, uh, you know, is it worth putting any more videos on? Is it worth, you know, what I mean, or you know, the asshole, really, you know, what I mean, kind of thing. Uh, you know, if they're going to try and cause you that, you know, that much trouble, but. Uh, I mean, I do find these people very sad. I mean, I won't even call them individuals, to tell you the truth. I mean, I find them very, like, get a life kind of thing. But, but anyway, I'm not going to ponder on it. I mean, this is going on for four minutes now, so I'm going to go on with my camp. Now, now camping to me, it's, it don't matter whether you go out, like, religiously once a month to put it on YouTube. It don't matter whether you go out once a week or every day. As long, you know, as, as you want to get out and you enjoy getting out that's what it's all about it's not about the views and it's not about the uh, the subs I mean what's the point of having 1400 subs when when I'm only getting 300 views I mean everything in the world comes down to mathematics so that you know I mean that's it's 
it's just about getting out and putting it on and if some people enjoy it then then that's fine isn't it you know but anyway i'm rattling on all i will say is is this if you if you get a you know for the 300 people that watch my videos if you get a, like a a new frog moon like channel come up it's not me this is me <laughs> Fred, uh, well just just be aware you know if they start trolling you that i have never ever ever had reason to uh to dislike a video on youtube or, or even or even kind of uh, put a you know a, a negative comment i don't think i'd sooner say it to people's faces which i think i have done you know in the past on, on one or two camps you know i mean people might have took offense to me uh, you know some of the things that, that i've said but uh, you know, you know, you shouldn't take it as personal as what uh, as what's been happening to my channel. Anyway, uh, I'm down camp stupid. I'm going to go out camping. Uh, I mean, a lot of people will say, "Oh, he likes this this camp stupid." Yeah, it is a bit. It is a bit over the top. This one, you know. What I mean, but but it's good. I mean, I look at it this way: bushcrafting. It's it's making use of surroundings. And a lot of this wood is my surroundings from work. You know, I mean, it is a bit of a bind carrying it in. And I do have to bring firewood in as well. And, uh, <laughs> but, but that's the way it is. Anyway, this, this is six minutes long. So I'm going to go on my camp. I had to say that uh, about this because, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Our, uh, our, you know, how some folks go on about things. So anyway, I'm going to go to camp together. I'll see you soon. I'm dog sitting. The wife and the three daughters have gone on a jolly in London and I've got to look after Fred. I don't really bring him down here because like once he, you know, there's a few squirrels and once he gets on a scent, he, uh, he sort of wanders off. And I don't like having him on a lead because I wouldn't like to be on a lead himself. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep an eye on him and get on with things. Now, I'm not one that sits behind uh, a television screen at all in my life, uh, even in midweek. I'll, uh, I'll come down here and, and bring some wood. We are bringing a lot of wood down here. And what I come down last night to bring some fat balls. And I hid them in the, uh, I call that my cushion. It's that old tent that we're down here. And the mice, the little sods, have chewed the way through and started, well, started the main course. And don't get me wrong, they've had a shit on me at Essie and Sachs as well. That's, uh, you know, but I can live with that. Uh, I mean, I, I class this little place. I mean, you've got a dead major road coming there. You've got one going there. I mean, I, I class this as a bit of a sanctuary for, for everybody. Uh, I mean, I've got a couple of fat squirrels. They, they're eating them fat balls. They're taking them straight out of trees, taking the lot. And uh, to tell you the truth, I hadn't had a squirrel for, uh, for a good few years. And I could, you know, you, you could easily tempt them and catch them, but this is sanctuary. This is sanctuary for uh, for everything. I'm not called mice. I mean, I've caught them already in in like my mouse bucket, and uh, and let them go or let them get out. But uh, I couldn't. I couldn't kill it down here. Not even pigeons. It's up in them trees. Well, call this coincidence. Call it whatever you want. But I have. Uh, I've just been interviewed by two uh, community officers down here who's had a report that this camp's here. Now, you might think I'm uh, being a bit dramaist and, you know, putting two together. But while I'm being interviewed by these officers, who uh, comes down to see if I'm here, is Mr. Cook. Same as myself, <laughs> being interviewed by police officers or community <laughs> officers, well, by every, you know what I mean? Well, fair play to Cook here, come up, he witnessed what was said. And uh, it's been reported recently uh, on, and the council's been sent me uh, my YouTube channel, uh, exactly what I'm getting up to down here. Uh, is that right? Yes. Is that right, Paul? Uh, Paul, 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 Mark, <laughs> I love him really. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I was watching him, I pulled up and I saw him get out of the car and I followed him thinking we might be going onto the highway. Walked onto the highway, there's nothing there, and the only place it could be was down here. Walked down here, and we stood talking to uh, Mr. Cockman. Now, what it is with this place, at this moment, this is on permission land, and I don't like that. 
Uh, they're going to take it back. Uh, they're going to see who owns the land, which is either Tch or the Highways Commission. And they're going to send me a letter. Very cooperative with them. Gave them a name and address, told them exactly what I do down here. They know because they've seen the videos on YouTube. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm awaiting, I'm awaiting this, this letter. The letter will say, take the thing down or you're going to be prosecuted for fly tipping or homelessness. But uh, they will tell me to move it on and I will take it down and move it. It's a sad end to it really, but I mean, Camp Stupid's lasted four years. And uh, I thought it'd last for right four weeks at most for, for the place it is. But uh, yeah, but, Coincidental, do you think, Mark? Very. Very. <laughs> yeah. Try and, my channel's trying on. to be act. False uh, kind of channels. Uh, the bit of calling, and now, and now Camp Stupid uh, grassed up, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you know, you've got to get on with these things, so I'm going on. If Mark's going to sort off in a bit, I had to even go a fire together. If you're stopping, for, are you stopping for dinner? Uh, I might be. Right. I'm going to get dinner on. <laughs> well, here I'm out with uh, some knives that I made out an old machete. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd come down, you know, and use these. I am going to take that handle off actually, and uh, put some more. Um, twine round it like like that one there. Anyway, I'm cutting a cutting a bit of wood. Cookie still here, and um, <laughs> I did have I did have some uh, sheaves made for them for them nice because uh, I mean I, I do like them and like I say I've done done them myself. Anyway, I've got my dog sodding off. Come on, and uh, we're gonna go fire going. Well, I'm having like a pine cone. It is a fat wood fire, and look, look at all the uh, resin in uh, in them cones there. Well, that took some doing, Cookie. Well, it's one catastrophe after another. Me, uh, my favourite pan has got a little hole there, leaking water. They've been a good, good set of pans. These have tenner from that bushcraft show. They have been absolutely battered. I've got one here. I'm still using one. Yeah, that's a shame. What do you think, Mr. Cook? <laughs> Well, for dinner, I'm having some steak, uh, some pork chops, mushrooms. I've already got a, a roast tater in fire there. I'm going to get my chops and my steak on there. Uh, I've invited Cookie, whether he's stopping for dinner, but I'm glad he's going. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, that's what's for dinner. Well, me and Mark, We've been uh, we're discussing the situation today. I mean, we, Mark, you know, Mark's been down a good few hours. He's perishing, look. Oh. <laughs> 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 and uh, I mean, I think we've both agreed that that this this will be the end of Camp Stupid. So that'd be, you know, one nil. Uh, am I really bothered? For the last couple of years, I've been saying, you know, I mean, uh, I'm going to move out. But uh, and I was a look at it now. You know, this is just some things that kick you up ass. There's uh, very little resources here now. I'm bringing everything in. It served its purpose. That is over the top. Where does, where does it stop? So, you know, I mean, it's been a good four years. So uh, I'm waiting for a letter from uh, the... Uh, they said they're going to send me a letter where I've got to do it. I've got to clear it away. Are uh, they going to... Is it classed as fly tipping? I don't know. They're going to send me a letter. I will gave them my name and address and everything and why we do it down here. Obviously, they're looking at the YouTube channel now and making a decision what they're going to do. So, in the meantime, I'm not going to like do a lot of builds here. I've got, a, I think, the 100% uh, answer will be take it down, don't you? Probably. You know, you know, for with the position that it's in, you know, I mean, uh, there is 
There is a great waterworks over there, you know what I mean, and seven, owned by Seven Trent, I would imagine. And that'll be owned by the Highways Commission. Uh, whoever gets around to it, they're just going to say, no, you know, we don't want him there. So, it's the end of Count Stupid. Are you upset? Yeah. <laughs> Are you upset? Yeah, I am a bit, yeah. Uh, you take it, it's this has been a good camp. Uh, yeah, I never expected it to last this long. Like I say, it's a kick up arse really, you know what I mean? Like, in, in two ways, what you can expect from social media and what you can, and what you, what people are willing to do. It's just a lot of bitter people out there. Very, very, very bitter, you know what I mean? Uh, cra yeah, crazy situation. You know, we, you know, yeah, you know, I'm beginning to think now, advice from the missus. Uh, have you put enough camps on? Uh, you'll, you'll still go camping anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, you know, we have the future, the future is here. And, and here. <laughs> so, <laughs> did you like that one? Yeah. So, I'll well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Anyway, Mark's going to sort off. I don't think you trust Mark cooking, is he, chef? No. <laughs> oh, he's so, so uh, bye for now. I'm going to get my dinner on. Well, dog don't look too happy. You alright, Fred? Well, this could be the last meal down the old camp stupid, and it's quite fitting. It's a nice bit of steak and some lovely pork chops. Now, my dog was fast asleep, but as soon as I get this dinner on, he'll be straight up. Well, in there, I've got some chestnut mushrooms, and uh, I'm going to add a couple of eggs. And uh, try you make it like into a mushroom omelette. Here's my meat, look. And there's my dog. Well, this is my egg omelette. It's coming on well. And <laughs> wait till you've had fat dropping off the meat into into egg and mushrooms. So I'm going to serve that up and see if Muck wants any. Well, that's the steak. And that's the pork chop. Look at that. Gorgeous. Well, I ain't bothered with noodles. I'm going to noodles. Well, I'm having the egg instead. So it's dinner. Potatoes. That steak is lovely. And that uh, pork chop. I've got some here for the dog. At the... Yeah, that's some. So we're going to get into it snap. Oh, I've got a can of uh, I've got a can of bud as well that Ginger left down last week. So that's his uh, that's his nosh. Yeah. Look at that idiot. He's burying pieces of meat like a squirrel or berry nuts. Well, we've got some hot coals here, and this is keeping all this area here very warm. Uh, in here, I've seen set up really, it's that quilt and burst air bed. I have put that on top because I know Fred will get on get on there soon because it's uh, it's quite warm in here. Come on. Right. Uh, what are my candles going? I mean, it's very well vent ventilated uh, it's going away through there windows are here and you've got great door so it is blowing through so just gonna uh, just 
chill out with dog. Well, we're all candled up. I've got yeah, uh, I've got a few hump burn. A good raging fire. <coughs> a couple burning in there. Dog's already got down. I think I'm going to join him soon. Good night's sleep. Uh, temperatures have really started to drop now, though. And uh, there are already some parts of the country that's had snow. But uh, anyway, even pre thought to yesterday's uh, <laughs> little actions. Um, I'm going to wait for that letter. Uh, I'm going to see what they say. I can't really see what arm I'm doing down here. But uh, I'll, you know, I'll. I'll Make, you know, wait for their decision. Um, camp stupid on trial. Uh, <laughs> if it, if they sent letter and it has to be took down, what what I'll have to do is uh, is just put a call out and you know ask a couple of mates and lads to come down and we'll take it down in one. <laughs> it's a good that times down here. Uh, I mean, Jay's kids have been down. I used to bring grandkids down, and like I say, it's been here for four years. Uh, but uh, I mean, it does it does make me think now. You know, I mean, like you get into this what they call it bushcrafting, uh, wild camping community on on social media. I mean, you know, it it does make you think sometimes what kind of people are in that community that uh, that they have to <laughs> you know resort to them kind of bitter measures, but. I mean, you've got to look at it this way. It's it's had a happy ending, really. Uh, the last big camp that I had, you know, we were burnt down. We uh, caused a bit of damage to the you know, surrounding woodland as well. I mean, also, uh, <laughs> I had my car burnt out at the same time, so... Uh, you know, if these things happen, then this has happened like pretty happy. There's no, been no destruction, just... Uh, you know, Happy ending, really. But anyway, I'm going to get up, I'm going to make a brew, and I'm going to make uh, some breakfast. Get on with things. It looks a cold morning. Well, that's what breakfast is some bacon. Some mushrooms, some poached eggs when they're done. Well, that's breakfast. Poached eggs, mushrooms, and bacon. Look at that. Done to perfection. Nice cup of coffee. Well, this is where I was. Um, it was a cold night, but I wrapped that uh, white duvet around me and uh, quite warm. I know windows open. So I'm going to get a, a pack up together and then shoot off. Well, I'm all packed up, uh, ready to go. Uh, and I would just like to add, I, uh, I put uh, a, like a thread on the uh, Frogman61 channel on uh, Instagram a couple of days ago about the trolling. And I would say uh, the activities from, uh, from yesterday is definitely a, a cul culmination of, uh, of that thread. It had some brilliant uh, positive responses from folks uh, that 
answered and, and understand the situation. They probably do get out a bit themselves, you know what I mean? And instead of sat behind the screen. And uh, so I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank all them that, that, uh, that responded to that thread. And uh, I mean, this weekend, I'm glad Mark Cook were down because, uh, you know, you, you know, a lot of people think that you might get a bit paranoid and that, but uh, oh, that unfolded yesterday, what with the, uh, everything that's been happening on my channel and that yesterday. Uh, I mean, the lads were very professional at the job. They didn't come, uh, they didn't come barging in. Uh, very good at the job. They, they explained the situation and, uh, you know, a good bit of chatting with them, you know what I mean? Uh, very recently uh, reported. And, uh, you know, the authorities set me a YouTube channel and everything that gets on, you know, that, that you get up to down here. So really, I mean, I look at that, that could have uh, a bit of a knock-on effect. Uh, you've got a good few lads that come down here. Everybody knows what goes on down here, you know, you're, you know, you're batting a, a bit of logging with knives, you've got axes down here, so, you know, whoever it is that's in the community, they really want to think what they're doing if they, uh, you know, are going to start sending uh, bitterness about, you know what I mean, to the authorities and that, you know, it could spoil it for a lot, a lot of people. As for me, you wouldn't spoil it for me, I'd still get out, I mean, this is just a little, you know, a little build in a little place by a big council estate, so... You know, I'll just pick myself up, brush myself down and, and, and get on with my camping. It make, you, you not affect my camping whatsoever. Uh, you just show people really what, what kind of uh, like leeches and, uh, and that, that there is in, in this community that we, that, that we like and we put on, on you know, as, as little jaunts on, uh, on YouTube. I am going to wait for the letter. I'm in no doubt that they'll tell me to take it down. And uh, even if they say, look, you're doing no harm, you know, stop there. I mean, I don't know whether I'd, I'd want Cover Stupid to be, uh, you know, to be like a, uh, what's it called? You've got permission, a permission place. I mean, Frog Moon, permission camps. No, you just don't have a ring to it. I like the wild camps. Uh, it'd not take a lot to take down. If, uh, if I, when I get that letter, if they say, look, you've got to be out here in like seven days, 28 days, I get my family together and we, uh, we, we blitz it. I mean, tie all this wood up get it in his, uh, in his vans, in his cars, take it away. You know, I think it will come to that. It'll be, uh, it'll be good to see if it don't, you know what I mean? Uh, so we have had some good times down here, but if this is how it runs with you two lot, um, you, know, you, you know, you do ask yourself, is it worth putting them on? You know, if you're upsetting, severely upsetting that, then, you know, them folks who are, they have to resort to, to this then. Then fair enough. Anyway, I'm going to get off. My dog's sodded off. So, uh, if there's a next time, bye. Regulators, let's move out. Come on. Come on. Right, I'll see if my car's there.